All right, what is going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Cash Howard, the coach of the New York Needle Kings, bringing you another battle from week one here at the Worldwide Champions League. We got Brook the Brooklyn Scissors, coached by CB, taking on the Waterville Weavals, coached by Nate. These are two veteran teams here at the Worldwide Champions League. I believe both coaches have been taking part since the inception of the league. Here is CB's uh, team as a reminder for people. We got Iron Valiant, we got Azel, uh, Regla Gudra, Corporate Quill, Tom Fan, Masquerade, Typhlosion, uh, Hisuian Electrode, Lucario, Gyarados, Zangoose, and Houndstone. The Waterbro Weavals bringing Lando Therian, uh, bringing with Lando Therian, Talonflame, Slow King. Orphorm, Rotomo, Dashbun, Crosslass, Altaria, Glamora, Zoroark, the Simeon, and Slowking. Here's our tail of the tape for both coaches. Um, Brooklyn Scissors electing to go with Suing Electrode, Iron Valiant, Azelf, Lucario, Gyarados, and Gudra. The Waterville Weewals coming through with Talonflame, Crosslass, Rotomo. Glamora, Earthworm, and Slowking. As you guys can clearly see, CB has a strong advantage when it comes to speed on his team compared to Nate. Um, also, his attack and special attack are pretty high. Um, meanwhile, to off chance that Nate's team is pretty good physically defensive, CB does have an advantage, especially defensive. And both are more or less equal when it comes to the HP. Now, we're going to see what happens this week when these two coaches go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The Brooklyn Scissors versus the Waterville Weavals. All right. Here comes Azel taking on Bomb Boy the Glamora. Glamora starting off with Spiky Shield, expecting a prior U-turn. Here's Azel setting a Reflect. And now the Light Screen. And there's Stealth Rocks from Glamora. Here's a Breadman, the Talon Flame. Oh, Aza Retaliating with his own uh, Stealth Rocks. And there's a Tailwind from Talon Flame. There is the U turn this time. Um, but ejecting uh, Talon Flame here comes Frostlass. Aza of his Stealth leaving out. Here comes Lucario with the Switch Roof from Frostlass, switching the Choice Scarf and Shuka Berry between the two uh, opponents. Push Tool to Run Mo comes on in. A Meteor Mash from Lucario, doing about 25% health. Lucario is swapping out, and here comes in Gudra. There's the Reflect from um, Rotom and the Light Screen. The Tailwind going away. Here's the Flamethrower. The Light Screen coming in clutch right there. Only 29% damage. Here's a Volt Switch from Rotom Mo. Out it goes. Here comes Glamora. There's a flamethrower from Gudra. These screens are still up on um, both sides, more or less. Oh, there goes CB screens. They're completely now all gone. Out goes uh, Gudra. Up comes back Lucario. Mortal spin from Glamour. It doesn't affect Lucario, unfortunately. There's the spiky shield again, expecting a hit. There's the meter match from CB. He does take the damage from the spiky shield. They playing really defensive here versus CB. Out comes out or or form snake mech. It's a medium match from Lucario. Doesn't get the boost. Doing minor damage to the earth or form. Out comes Gudra taking the damage from the stealth rocks. Here's a coil from or form raising attack defense and its accuracy. What are you going to hit this Gudra with? There's a flamethrower. Screens coming in clutch. Here's a body press. Ooh, 48% damage, but gooey proc. Orform's speed does drop by one stage. There goes his Reflect. Another Flamethrower, no burn. <clears throat> There's another Body Press from Orform, and Gudra's our first casualty going down. Gui procking again. Orform at a minus two speed. There goes the screens are now all gone. Screen, uh, from the battle, I'm sorry. Here's Iron Valiant, Booster Energy activating, raising his speed. There's the Aura Sphere from Iron Valiant. Out here, Revenge Killing. Snake Mech, the Ore Form does go down. We're tied 5-5 right now. So here comes King David the Slow King. 
eats that Shadow Ball from Iron Valiant. Vitalius with a side shock, 78% damage. Not a crit. All right, Iron Valiant leaves out. Azelf comes in. There is the terrestrialization, terrestrialization from Sloking into the Fairy Typing with a Chilling Water, dropping Azelf's uh, physical attack stat. There was a crit. Definitely did not matter with the crit there. Out comes in Lucario. Eats a Shadow Ball. David leaves. Out back comes out Push Tool to Rotomo. Lucario missing the Meteor Mash, unfortunately, but gets the second one. And for his trouble, gets the boost in attack. Rotomo goes down. King David comes back out to the field. Eats a Meteor Mash and dies for his trouble. King David goes down. We're at 5 3 right now. Here comes a Bridman to Talonflame. There's a Meteor Mash miss from Lucario again. There's an Acrobatics uh, Revenge Kill. Lucario goes down. 4 3. They slightly bring this back up. Here comes a Suin Electrode. Talonflame goes away. The Mora comes back out. There is a Volt Switch. Electrode leaving. Back into the Iron Valiant. This is Lamora gonna do? Spiky Shield. CB going for the side shock. I think he knows at this point now what the Lamora play is gonna be. Not opting to physically hit this. Here comes another side shock. Lamora with a mortal spin. Clears the, the field from, from uh, his side, and there goes Iron Valiant for his trouble. This is now a tied game at 3 3. Suing Electro comes right back out. Another spiky shield from Glamora. The Thunderbolt. Glamora protecting itself. Glamora being very passively, but its time is over. Glamora is out. Electro switches places with Azelf. Here comes Talonflame. There's an acrobatics from Talonflame. Still outspeeding. Azelf goes down. Very close game here from both our, our veteran coaches here. Electro and Hisui's out. Uh, process out. Takes two Thunderbolts, which is enough. Process is down. 2-1. Can this Talonflame bring it back for Nate? But unfortunately, Electro Hisui is much, much faster in this scenario. Talonflame goes down. This is a... 2-0 victory for the Brooklyn Caesars. GG's from both coaches. Both of them were almost evenly prepared for each other. The, the setups on both sides of the field almost identical with the, the screens and the, uh, the stealth rocks. Uh, CB didn't have a way to remove them. Nate, however, did, but it still worked out in CB's favor. Again, GG's to both coaches. That is going to be it for me. As always, this is your boy, Cash Howard, the coach of the New York Nido Kings. Hope to see you for one of our next battles this week. As always, like and subscribe so you can keep on um, ahead when the next video drops. Later, guys.